to Mr. Monty Talks. Today we'll be going over a new decanter, fully sealed, intact with the original box and hang tag. This right here is the Riverboat Captain. You want to know more? Stay tuned. Thanks. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we take a look at another rare vintage decanter from Jack Daniels. This is the 1987 decanter called the Jack Daniels Riverboat Captain's Bottle. This bottle is 90 proof and 1.75 liters. It has never been opened and is intact with original hang tag, box, and undamaged seal. It holds a value of $2,499.99 on Continental Wine and Spirits. This bottle comes in seventh in its commemorative bottle lineup. Now on to what the hang tag reads. Getting old number seven aboard the floating palaces. Since he was a traveling whiskey salesman, Mr. Jack Daniel could be found in Nashville almost as often as in Lynchburg. And one of the natural attractions of the city in those days was the wharf at the end of Broad Street. To most folks, the visiting packets, showboats, and tinsel-covered steamers, plus the sight of towering cotton bales and tobacco being carried by mules and rustabouts, made the river port one of the most exciting places on earth. But what intrigued Mr. Daniel about the riverfront sites was the abundance of the carriage trade waiting passage to far off places. If old number seven won the approval of these folks, it would add considerable to his product's growing reputation. That's when Mr. Jack resolved to court the favor of the riverboat captain. Amongst the waiting congregation, the most noticeable individual was the riverboat captain, a dramatic presence dressed in a glimmer of white or the luster of polished black. The captain did not merely participate in riverboat gatherings, he presided over them. He tipped his hat to the ladies and invite affluent planters and other members of the gentry on board for conversation. These gatherings inevitably led to a sampling of superb cigars and fine whiskey from the captain's private stock. For in the end, the riverboat captain was a businessman who understood that a steamboat with a fine reputation for accommodations, staterooms, food, and drink would prosper. Mr. Jack knew it too. That's why he approached the riverboat captain of the Tennessee Bell with a most generous proposition. Sir, I have traveled far and wide selling my fine Tennessee sipping whiskey and never had less than praiseworthy reports from my customers. It's as fine a potable as you could offer to your personal friends. All I ask is you take one sip. If you like it, I'll see to it that your bottle is filled with old number seven every time you visit Nashville. Mr. Jack believed that a sip of Tennessee's finest was all it would take to convince the most contrary soul. And once it became the personal choice of the captain, Uncle Jack knew his old number seven would soon find its way to the taverns in the steamboat's grand salon, where it could be consumed and appreciated by the carriage trade. So for years to come, spectators at the Nashville Wharf became accustomed to seeing several kegs of old number seven, along with the mules and rossabouts, the bales of cotton and tobacco, all anticipating the arrival of the steamboats. Even at the turn of the century when steamboat travel was in its decline, a visiting riverboat captain might be overheard asking the whereabouts of Mr. Jack Daniel. Whether Mr. Jack was on hand or not, there was always an ample supply of his fine Tennessee sipping whiskey reserved for the steamboat's master's personal bottle. After all, a deal's a deal. The bottle you hold, the riverboat captain's bottle, was created to reflect the elegance of the days when steamboats ruled the great waters of our nation. The bell design tapers into a perfectly flat bottom to discourage tipping, a feature the captains of the era fully appreciated in times of rough waters. You'll be pleased to know that the whiskey inside your riverboat captain's bottle is still made the old way, the same mellow, potable Mr. Jack Daniel offered to the carriage trade of the steamboat age. So I hope you enjoyed another piece of bottle history and old number seven perfection that is Jack Daniel's whiskey. As always, if you like this content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for joining me on Mr. Money Talks. Good night.
Thank you.